Hi everyone, welcome back to my review of Marvel Stage 4, She-Hulk, Attorney at Law. Two things that this show is trying to be is a lawyer courtroom comedy. And it is two things that this show fails absolutely miserably at trying to accomplish. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Like, what's funny about this show? The only thing funny, and the only thing funny is that I keep watching it. Why am I keep watching it? I have, I hold out hope. I keep trying. I hope, I hope maybe something will get better. But guess what's not getting better? The jokes. The jokes are not getting better. What else is not getting better? The CGI. At one point in the scene, in the show, they had, she helped, she did her little fourth wall break and it looked like someone pasted a plastic mask over someone in the scene. It was just that bad. The colors didn't match. The tones didn't match. It was why I want, I hope, I hope I hold out this abysmal hope. The other thing is the, any, any sort of lawyer, attorney, legal scenes that take place in the show are, well, with one exception, I'll give them that they actually, performed the way an attorney should perform the way a courtroom case halfway should perform i'll get there this show is tra jennifer walters is a terrible attorney she should have been disbarred fired and probably arrested a few times over by now and this episode goes even further with that the CGI is not getting better. Everyone who, anyone and everyone who criticized the CGI from the trailers was right. It's, it is the first Shrek movie bad levels. Those may have been good for the time then, but this is garbage now. She is still not consistently the same height in each scene. Walking through the office, her hands, I don't know why is that there, why... Why was it their intention to make her hands so goddamn big? It just, ah, uh, why am I doing this to myself? I don't know. Maybe because for somehow I got so 800 views. How the hell did I get that one on the previous one? Oh God, let's move on. She-Hulk. <laughs> I'm reviewing She-Hulk. I want to review something better. I want to go back and finish watching Cyberpunk Edge Runners. I watched the first four episodes. I think it's fantastic. I have no idea. I want to talk about that. I want to talk about Arcane, but I'm walk talking about She Hulk. Why? Because I started, and God damn it, I'm going to finish what I start. This show is so bad. The jokes are bad. Okay, let's move on. Okay, CG. All right. Ah, breathe. So, as we we go through the recap of the first episode of the previous episode, where She Hulk, why is my shit beaming? She Hulk gets served papers from T Titania about using the name She Hulk. Now, my my first thought is, you can trademark, you can attempt to trademark a name all day long, but if there is public record, if there is any sort of record of someone using that name before you, you are screwed. That's it. You're screwed. It doesn't matter. And the other thing, trademark is necessary if it is a similar brand. Again, my understanding, anybody who's actually watching my crap and has knowledge of the legal system and copyright and trademark and all that other stuff. If one is the name of a person and the other is the name of a product that is not actually linked, then there's no issue with the trademark or the copyright. I think she's trademarking it or copywriting. I don't know. I don't care. This show is so stupid. Anyway, but maybe Titania, tit Titania. Oh. Titania is trying to trademark her name. But anyway, the show opens up, goes over the recap. My eyes are itching. Where Jennifer Walters is driving through town and she the, sees the billboards and she see, she hears them, the commercials on the radio and commercials on the TV. And it's almost to the point where you can see the anger in her eyes. Like she's letting that emotion get the better of her. Like, oh, wait, did you not listen to what Bruce was trying to tell you? Oh, God. Here's the problem. I don't know what to ten I don't know what the She Hulk product line is supposed to be. Is it supposed to be clothing? Is it supposed to be makeup? And then later on, it's energy drinks or a vitamin supplements, booty juice. Like, 
what the hell is all this crap? There's no definitive, you don't get a definitive idea of what the product line is supposed to be. So sure, here's the fun part in the very, in the very beginning of the episode. Apparently, Titania is doing a meet and greet for her fans and the attorney, Jennifer Walters, who wants to be respected for her abilities as an attorney, goes to confront the person who is taking her to court over a trademark. Um, you can't do that. That's frowned upon, to say the least. Like, she would be fired. And if you want to say, well, it's supposed to be a comedy, it's supposed to be this. It is supposed to be a lawyer comedy. If she is a lawyer, you can be funny, but you at least need to follow some basic ass rules of law and courtroom and all these other things. And I just, I say, at one point, I just, I'm trying to watch the show and trying to do a point by point, scene by scene, whatever review. And it's like, God, this is so boring. And I just keep getting taken out of the show because of the CGI. It really, it really is just, it's, it's that bad. It is just that bad. Ah. <sighs> At one point, they try to convince, they talk about Jennifer's outfit, her suit, and it's nice and fun that the criticisms of she, that she's wearing shoulder pads that would that would have a football player envious for her, her business attire, they make jokes on that and everything, sure, fine, all in good. They make jokes about everything, the internet people and all whatnot. So um, her, uh, I think it's Nikki and pug go on a quest to find jennifer someone to make her some clothes and the probably one of the more unrealistic things is they track down a back room clothing designer which why i mean why why would someone with the opportunity to make millions off of designing specific clothes for superheroes why would they be so secretive, so backroom. I can understand being selective of your clientele. Absolutely. I can understand being um, expensive, exclusive, because you want your name to be on something special. You want the right people to wear your clothing. You want the right people to show off your designs and everything. Why the fuck would you be so secretive about it? I would be telling everyone. Edna Mode was a perfect superhero clothing designer everyone knew who she was but she was very selective very particular no capes all that stuff and that was great this why do they do this for comedy because it's supposed to be funny you're supposed to be oh hush hush wink wink nudge nudge it's supposed to be comedy this is joke writing it's bad it is just actually bad but one of the better parts of this entire goddamn series is we finally get an attorney who knows their job. We are not friends at the... Oh, Lord. This is the She-Hulk. That's why I was so confused. It's like, is it clothing? Is it this? What is it? What, what, what are you trying to sell? Back to the courtroom. Back to the attorney. Jennifer Walters gets assigned an attorney because her boss says, you need to take care of your own backyard. Or whatever the fuck he says. I don't really... Listen, whatever. She's assigned to one of the attorneys in the law office who makes it quite clear that we are not friends. This is client. This is attorney, client, business, blah, 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 whatever. Which is good. Actual lawyer stuff. Actual business stuff. I'm terrible with words, as you can tell. I ramble. Anyway. And... <laughs> They, the question, I believe it was in, it was in the promotional material where her turn, the attorney was asking Jennifer, why didn't you trademark your name? Why would you wait so long? Why would you let this happen? And Jennifer, as she Hulk says, I never even thought about it. You don't have Dr. Strange or Thor trying to trademark their names. And of course, that's the joke. 
because that's their name, which is kind of funny because um, Mighty Thor, so many people were arguing that why didn't you name Mighty Thor something else? There were people arguing, screaming, and yelling, saying that's not a good name because, well, Thor's not a mantle. It's not a title. It's his name. It's his actual name. And those who criticized Thor Love and Thunder for being outside of being a bad movie, but for the, the namesake, Mighty Thor, they were called misogynists. And yet here we have a show that calls out the idea that Thor is his name. It is not a mantle. It is his name. But we're going to move on. So <sighs> we move on to the courtroom scene and it's actually it's actually done well. Prosecutor gives his case. The defendant defendant's attorney gives her case. Pretty cut and dry. Video evidence of Jennifer Walters being called She-Hulk. Jennifer Walters in an interview saying that, yeah, I guess I'll accept the she -Hulk. I don't like it too much, but it is who I am. Long before Titania tries to get the copyright, the trademark. When I'm mixing all this shit up. And then it falls completely, totally flat when Titania stands up in the courtroom and starts talking. It's like, no, no, stop doing this. Night Court was not this bad, okay? If you don't know what Night Court was, it was a comedy from the 80s, fantastic night. Fa that was a courtroom comedy, and it was done properly. You didn't have stupid shit. You didn't have smoke bombs and magical acts coming in in a courtroom that's not going to happen. Uh, you can be funny in other ways. You're not going to have the defendant stand up or the... You're not going to have someone like Titania stand up and start giving a speech without the judge smacking down the gavel saying, you're out of order, sit your ass down. Work your comedy into something like that. It is already... <laughs> The showrunners and the writers have stated that they didn't know how to write courtroom dramas and courtroom scenes. And holy shit, is it obvious? It is so glaringly obvious right now. And everybody likes the show. Why? Because we have Madison with a Y, but not what she think. A drunk ass thought party party girl. And people love her. Like, why? She's a party girl. She's a dump, poorly written character. Wongers. They've destroyed Wong so much. They just, just take how he was. Deadpan. He was the straight man. Deadpan humor didn't get the jokes. That was part of his the the delivery of the character. Bruh. After that, it's time to go shopping. We got to get She Hulk up to speed. We got to get She Hulk in a nice suit, and ah, oh, that's what the show was. That's what the show was. That's what most of it. Courtroom dealing with an open and shut case against Titania versus She-Hulk. Absolutely open and shut. But yet again, they use this as an opportunity to hate men. They bring in She-Hulk's other dates to show that, no, she's accepting the name of She-Hulk. She's accepting the name. And afterwards, it's just man-hate, 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 man-hate. This is like we almost went an entire show without any sort of bullshit like this. It's, you have to insult. I don't, I don't understand it. It's not funny. Find other ways to make comedy. Like who, who's, I've said this in every single video. Tell me like, what's funny about this? Where is it? You no. Know? When they're walking out of the courtroom, this goes back to the CGI. When She-Hulk and the, her attorney are walking out of the courtroom, you cannot help be take you can't help but be taken out of the whole thing because She-Hulk it doesn't look like she's there. It look it just they have to be able to do a better job. This is Disney. Disney can't do a better job with CGI like this. It's too much. It pulls you out of the scene. Back at the bar. Hate men, hate men, hate men. I probably should have said something like this at the beginning, but at the end of the episode, She-Hulk goes to get her suits. And she, oh, she loves him. She loves him. Gives her a business suit to try on. She loves it. And of course, 
he makes something extra special for him, which is the superhero suit that we see Jennifer Walters back in the original trailer when uh, she's on the rooftop and someone goes rolling into the scene. We all know it's the only person that probably people are genuinely watching the show for. Charlie Cox, Daredevil, which is the little teaser that you get at the end of the episode. The little bit where all the Marvel stands are going to go, wee, wee, yes, they're bringing Daredevil in. Yes, I can't. Oh, I've heard too many good things about Daredevil on Netflix. I haven't had the opportunity to watch it. But I have an idea. The fans absolutely love it. The Daredevil, the scenes with Punisher on Netflix, I've heard nothing but praise. And the way this show is going, the way I personally believe that they've destroyed Wong as a character, I don't have a lot of faith. In I don't have a lot of faith in what they're going to do to Daredevil. Because at the end of this episode... He picks up a hat box and sets it off to the side. And the thing that all of the Marvel fans have been waiting for, the Daredevil fans have been waiting for, is the Daredevil's yellow helmet. So we'll see what we get. I do not have a lot of faith. Uh, I mean, I have I have less than I have less than a lot of faith. I have zero faith uh, that they're going to do Daredevil justice. I understand they did an interview with with uh, the actor. That, of course, there is some levity in some of the Daredevil, Daredevil comics. There's not all, it's not always serious and brutal. It's, some of the comics have been, have had some levity and some comedy and everything. And sure, I understand that. I see it as a defense. I see it as, um, uh, oh, there's a word for it that I'm not going to be able to remember until I stop recording. I'm going to hate myself for it. But he's getting out in front of it. He's getting out in front of the criticism, and I, I, I guess I guess I can understand that. I'm going to keep watching this abomination, this atrocity. I don't know if if it's a matter of the Disney Plus She Hulk is acting in an uncharacteristic way than the comic. I see it as just this isn't funny. The courtroom drama is piss poor, terrible. Speaking of the the whole disbarring, <laughs> Jennifer Walters twice, as she hoped, twice has approached someone that she was in opposition with. In episode four, she threatened uh, Donnie Blaze. Uh, she threatened to murder him. She pretty much threatened him with death. If he did not stop practicing the magic, if he didn't drop his case or whatever it was, or agree to the cease and desist, she threatened him. That moment right then and there, not only should she have been fired from the law firm, not she should have been fired from the law firm, disbarred as an attorney, and arrested for uh, threats of violence. Regardless of whether or not she is she held, you don't you don't do that. It's not okay. But it was done for fun. You got to find better ways. This is moronic at best. And of course, in this episode, she approaches someone who is suing her in an attempt to coerce them to drop the lawsuit and stop using the She-Hulk name. This is abysmal, embarrassing. They they. All they had to do was get an advisor to make things a little bit more interesting in the courtrooms, in the legal proceedings, in the the way Jennifer acts. But uh, I'm judging this based on the show, not on anything that came before it, other than you know the characters in the movies. I'm basing Wong in this show on what I've what I saw from him in. Um, Doctor Strange, which I will say was a goddamn fantastic movie that I would I had no interest in watching Doctor Strange. I sat down, watched half of it, and stayed up past midnight watching the rest of it because I was that interested. So this Wong is not he's, he's not the same character. Absolutely not the same character. But I think I've rambled on for long enough. Tell me what you think in the comments. I'm serious. To tell me I'm full of shit. Tell me you agree. If you think the show's funny and entertaining, what do you like about it? Legitimately, what do you like about it? And please, God, don't say Madison. That's, that's, that's not enough. It's not. One character 
who an unintentionally funny character was not enough. No, she wasn't funny. She was stupid. Leave a like, leave a dislike. Tell me what you think. Subscribe, share, tell all your friends what kind of a prick I am. But hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Y'all have a good night. This is Marvel Stage 4. Have fun.